hi friends we can enter any text here so i'm just enter and generate the qr code so this qr code is a or a quick response code is a machine readable op uh, optical label that contains the information about the item or to which it is inst uh, connected say so this qr code i can read it by a scanner or by a by a smartphone also and read the content this only transfers the data from a physical world to a digital world so we'll learn how to generate this qr codes this is our basic template from this we'll start first we'll import our library uh, pi qr code and if you are not installed it install it by using pip install uh, pi qr code this is what the main library will be using then in that the create method we'll just import it and then kinter and next is here you are using pi png if you have not installed pi png then in uh, pip install pi png you can add that but note that if you are only required it if you want to save it as a png format otherwise it's not required you just want to display it it is not required we'll see that one and then it is our basic kinter window and here you can see our entry wizard one entry wizard where we will be entering our uh, data now then we have a button here we just say generate qr code we'll connect the on click event to this button and then a label here which label which says that here the qr code to display once you generate the qr code this text will be replaced by the qr qr code image so let's just run this and see how this looks without any functionality here it is i can just click this and the image qr code will be displayed here we'll connect the click event i'm just going to the next line this is the button so i'm giving command equal to lambda now what is the function which i will be triggering my ge generator generate so i am whatever name you want to give uh, you can give here i am not so far not defined this so let me just this function i will write it here sorry before this here i will write it let me remove this line so define my generate so here my uh, inside this i will write my code so first i will use global image why i am using a global is because uh, the images generated inside a function have some issue with kinter for the garbage collection so i am declaring it as my image the variable as global here so then i will say generate the my qr my qr this is the variable name and i am using pi qr code create method what is the inside that i have to place the string this uh, anyway this is the pi qr library we have installed by pip installed uh, pi qr code now here i will say that e1 dot get what is e1 is my entry wizard whatever the user has entered here here it is this is the entry wizard you can see here and my w is my parent window and whatever data the user enters it read that data by e1 greet and create my qr so my qr is ready for me now now i'll create a xbm file now i'll say my underscore qr equal to uh, my qr dot xbm this is the file i want i will be creating and displaying on the scale equal to 10 you this scale you can change it is a dimension on that part only it will take care now i will create the bitmaps my image let me move up a bit my image here i am declaring a new variable equal to tk dot bitmap image and here the data i will take it equal to my qr so my now my image eh, okay let me give i image e okay this is a variable name only so my image is ready now this image i will display it in my label so for that l1 l1 is my label where i have just written here my qr code you can see l1 is here qr to display here whatever now this text will be replaced by a image so what i am doing l1 dot config or i can use configure config now image i am saying image attribute or option of it equal to my image that's all now this my okay i am 
A G E. Okay. So now this image, whatever is generated here, I am just passing it to the uh, my label L1 label, which will display me the QR code. Now let's just see. So far we are generating the QR code on the fly and displaying in the Kinter window. We have not saved it. So now let's just see how this works. So far, here it is. Now I am just writing plus two net dot net or anything now generate the QR code here it is so this you can scan it by your uh, smartphone or a scanner you will get the same text what I have entered now next we'll move how we'll save these images after creating the code here we'll just paste some code you just see here I am okay now this is my SBG image uh, or vector graphics now this is my path in your case you can change this path also this is my path where I am storing it and in a scale of 8 so this will generate the SBG graphics for me and suppose I want a PNG but for next line this one I must installed this pi png you can see at the top here it is at line number 4 you must install pi png by pip install then this line will work and here it is png is generated scale and some modules are also there let me just move a bit yeah you can see i am or up to next line i can bring this see this module then the background color also i can give so these are for generating my png image now i can show the png image also now here this line will show now let's try this we'll uh, dis show it in our console we'll see how the image is displayed let's just run this or previous one i have not closed it let me close this one start again okay it has opened up now let me just give the test before generating the qr code here it will try to generate on the console let's just see that it will wait for some time here it is so you can see this is in my console it is displaying so I will just close this you can see now this is generated because this particular line at line number 26 that so that displays the PNG file that's all friend this is how the QR codes we can generate by taking data it can be connected to a database also from SQLite or MySQL you can pull the data suppose you have a product and the product will every product will have a unique ID with it using that ID you can create a uh, QR code and that QR code you can stick it with the product and display it on somewhere so when you scan it your scanner will read that product ID and the respective details will automatically its price label expired all the details connected to that ID can be directly populated into a uh, text box or whatever in your billing software also that can be integrated that is what you must have seen in the uh, shops and all where a QR code is uh, a product QR code is read and uh, accordingly all the details of that product is displayed that's all friend so I'll request you please subscribe to our channel to see the tutorials like this we frequently upload also and if you have any doubt suggestion or questions please use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and request once again to subscribe thank you for watching